Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for August 2nd, 2023. Well, yesterday we had the Dow continuing to push to the upside after a good um, uh, cat earnings report, but then, doggone it, the rest of the indexes were uh, showing just a little bit of resting going on. So mostly down yesterday. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Wednesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Let's get right into this and see if we can figure out how we can uh, approach the market for today. Well, if you were paying attention um, after the bell yesterday, we had some good earnings reports, but we also had Fitch uh, downgrading the U.S. due to their uh, massively growing national debt and due to our nationally growing um, debt, I should say. And um, already we've got the futures trying to shake that off here this morning, uh, trying to pump up from the overnight lows. Now, keeping in mind, Asian markets were sharply lower last night as due to that downgrade. European markets are lower this morning, following through with yesterday's selling after that downgrade. And here in the US, we're trying right now to pretend that this doesn't matter. But this has serious ramifications for the market and the economy. So watch for some considerable volatility today as we react to this. Now the administration is coming out and trying to say, no, 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 no. There's nothing wrong here. There's no problems, nothing to see here. But clearly there is a situation going on as our debt continues to grow and grow and grow, seemingly unchecked. And now we've got to um, uh, fess up and, and deal with the ramifications of that. So let's watch this closely today. I would expect some considerable price volatility as the market reacts. Now let's take a look um, right here. If the bulls were to continue to find inspiration today, well, I would look for a retest of that high yesterday in the chart. And if they can push on through that level, you notice we have another little level right up in here somewhere around that uh, 360, 358, 360 area of the market. If the bears were to find inspiration today, well, I'm gonna suggest we might retest the low of the overnight in the futures market. So watch that carefully. We might retest that low. And if that were to fail, then I would look for a test of the low of this big black candle here in the chart to see if that will hold us as support. Failing through there gets a little bit painful here in the market and that possibility that we could come all the way back down into this area of the chart. Now, that being said, keep in mind that that doesn't change the bullishness of this chart. It just relieves a lot of that overbought pressure that we're experiencing right now. and doesn't even come close to coming back to our 50-day moving average if we pull back into that area. So still a bullish chart. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, also trying to bounce back up, trying to say, nah, Fitch, the downgrade of the U.S. credit doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, trust me, it's going to matter if that continues, um, if, if the administration isn't um, able to overturn that in some way. So watch that closely. If those bulls can find inspiration here, let's look for a push back up into this area right in here to test a little bit of that price resistance. We had a little bit of a gap down going on this morning, so we might test the underneath side of that price resistance, and if they can push through there, then right back up here to maybe to retest uh, some of these highs in the chart. Pushing through that level, we still have this red line up here that I've got on the chart that would be the next resistance level. And if those bears were to continue to find inspiration, let's check those overnight lows, see if we don't test maybe some of those overnight night lows in that support area here in um, the SPY chart. If that were to fail, where do we go from there? If that were to fail, 
I'm going to suggest that we could come down. There's a little teeny tiny support level right in here, but the major support is down here. That would be a significant sell off if that were to occur and would create quite a bit of pain. But the trend still remains bullish and we would still be significantly above our 50 day moving average. If we take a look at our QQQ, QQQ also trying to pump back up this morning. Boy, Hong Kong was off almost two and a half percent last night as tech really got hit um, based on that downgrade here in the US. So let's watch that closely. Pretty substantial pullback here in the pre-market on the QQQ. We're trying to ignore it and bounce back up here in the, in the morning pump, but let's watch that closely. If the bulls can continue to find that inspiration to push on higher, then let's look for a little resistance right in that area to see whether or not that's going to resist the chart. And if that were to break, then I would suggest we come back up here and retest this area. And then once again, if that breaks right on up to retest the highs. If the bears find inspiration today, a retest of the overnight low seems pretty likely. And if that were to fail, maybe we push back down and we test some of the lows of this support area in this price action and possibly even the bigger support area in the chart, which be, would be right down in here. And remember, that doesn't change anything. That's still a very bullish chart. So uh, no harm here in the chart to just relieve some of that overbought condition. If we take a look at our IWM, IWM um, trying to hold on to this downtrend break after the gap down here this morning, watching that closely, we're trying to bounce back up off of that, that little support area here in the chart. So if those bulls continue to find that inspiration here today, let's look for a retest right back up in here on some of these highs to see if we can pop through there. If they can, then I'm going to suggest we come right up here and test this high and maybe even break on higher, which would test this resistance level over here in the chart. If the bears continue to find inspiration, maybe a retest of the overnight lows here um, on um, IWM, we'll want to watch carefully for that. And then if those bears continue to push, uh, maybe a push down into this level of price support might be doable. Beyond that, We're looking down in here for that next level. And remember, even that big of a pullback doesn't bring us back to the 50-day moving average in the IWM. So um, no harm here overall. It might be painful for the traders, but no harm. Let's take a look at our VIX. Um, yesterday um, at the close, we had a little bit of a spring up here in, in the VIX. And so a little bit of fear came into the market, but nothing measurable to be any uh, major concern just yet. Remember, it'll be the break of that downtrend and the hold of the higher low. That's where things could get a little bit jinky. So watch that closely here if we were to begin some kind of an uptrend here in the VIX. So far, uh, no evidence of that. Still holding those resistance levels in the chart. So let's keep a close eye on that. Our uh, T2122 yesterday relieved some of that um, overbought bot pressure here in the market. But you can see not a significant amount of it was relieved so we'll want to watch that pretty closely here um, we have been overbought 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 and maybe the Fitch downgrade kind of relieves some of that pressure here and we finally push back down um, taking some of the shine off of these stocks and and honestly providing some better um, entry opportunities into them so watch carefully here for that possibility if the bulls find inspiration well let's just keep in mind 
we really don't have um, a, a huge upside opportunity if the bulls find that inspiration. Um, obviously, a pretty big downside opportunity if the bears um, begin to engage here. If we take a look at our T2108, T2108 pulled back a little bit yesterday, but no harm. We're still holding overall the upside trend. We are frothy in this market, meaning that the percentage of stocks holding above the 40-day moving average, anytime we're up here in the 70s, we're really pushing our limits um, in uh, the market. So we've been overbought here. Now we're relieving some of that pressure. If the bears really push today, that might change something here and kind of shake things up just a little bit. But watch that closely. Our T2107 also remained very bullish yesterday. Although it pulled back, um, no harm, no foul here. Um, if we get a little bit of selling today, that might change this chart just a little bit but no particular worries overall. If we take a look at our T2101, I suggested yesterday that little hook over might actually bring a little bit more breadth into the market, but it didn't do that. As a matter of fact, our breadth continued to fall yesterday on that low volume, uh, drifting away here, uh, breadth declining again. We're running out of that upside energy it would seem that pretty much everyone that's going to be in is in the market we're looking for that reversal maybe to occur here soon maybe that fitch rating that um, brings out the bears a little bit that will spike that um, breadth in the market so watch that carefully let's take a look at our um, economic calendar for today and our economic calendar we do have a few things that we'll want to be paying attention to if you check right here we've got uh, mortgage applications coming in well motor vehicle numbers here in this morning as well we're going to have mortgage applications we're going to have an adp report remember it was last adp report that gave us a little bit of a shock showing us that big change in um, in numbers uh, on private payrolls that shocked the market just a little bit we had some volatility right now they're suggesting um, a much lower number here this morning so watch that carefully here in ADP there could be some volatility around that um, we've got some uh, bond announcements we've got a treasury um, refunding agreement uh, coming in here at 8 30 as well and then we're going to see uh, petroleum status at 10 30 this morning with a four month bond auction later on this afternoon then we're going to have a looking forward here uh, for thursday jobless claims productivity and cost pmi composite factory orders ism um, services index and the natural gas report followed by uh, the fed balance sheet at the end of the day so kind of keep that in mind jobs is going to be the theme for the rest of the week um, with that employment situation number coming in on friday let's take a look at our earnings calendar and folks it's a big one we've got a lot of earnings here this morning and i will be getting the blog posted here this morning i'll run through a few of these stocks that you'll want to be paying attention to um, apa reporting today we're going to hear from uh, Bungie here today. We've got uh, CCJ that will be reporting. Uh, Goodyear Tire is on the list today. Um, we're going to hear from Herbalife here this morning. Um, we've got Kraft Heinz that will be reporting. Um, MCK is on that list. We're going to hear from Qualcomm. We're going to hear from um, Philip 66. We're going to hear from Shop later on this afternoon. Um, we've got Trip is in there. Um, and we're going to hear from ZG. So quite a few reports here today. There's a large number of them. I, there's no way I can cover them all here this morning. So make sure you click the link just below the title of the video. That'll take you back to the morning blog where you can get that full list of notables. 
Let's take a look at some stocks that could be setting up for today. But before we do that, guys, once again, if you could do me that quick favor, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, if you could please click that subscribe button on YouTube. Also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time I post a video. And if you find these videos to be useful or helpful, if you could do me that favor, and that would be clicking those thumbs up buttons, leaving the brief comment that helps the channel to grow. Thank you so much who, for those who take the time to do that. And I wanna let you know, as long as nothing blows up today, I will be answering those comments. I know it's been a while since I've been able to answer those um, with the um, health situation of my uh, mother-in-law and the, the changes and the ramifications that that has made um, in our lives here. So um, I do apologize for that, but I should be back on task here today. Let's take a look um, at some of these stocks that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. You should do your own due diligence. Be very, very careful here in the market. Um, making sure you're following your rules and your trading guidelines. First off, let's take a look at what's going on here in the US dollar. US dollar has been surging back to the upside as those bond yields have been going up. Now we've got an interesting thing going on here with this wild dollar pattern in here. We're running into a possible downtrend here in the chart and we will be running into some price resistance up here in the chart. Let's keep an eye on that US dollar. If it strengthens above this area, that could be an issue for us. It'll be interesting to see how this Fitch rating um, um, changes things here in uh, the dollar valuation. We could see quite a little bit of volatility in this, so watch carefully for that. Um, we haven't really seen any relief, though, in those bond yields that have been continuing to um, hold up or even push back to the upside. So just watch that closely here for the dollar. Now, that being said, let's take a look at a few things out there that um, could have some impact due to the Fitch ratings. Um, first off, you probably saw that report yesterday that the banks are continuing to restrict capital, reducing capital out to the public. That's going to have ramifications to the market. And we know we've got this issue of commercial real estate and the defaults coming our way on that commercial real estate. We're pressing against some resistance here in the chart. And this new um, situation with the um, rating change could have ramifications here in banking. So I would watch this banking sector pretty closely. Although it's been moving up in a trend, we're pressing against some resistance. We may be pushing that limit here in some of these financials. Watch that closely. It'll be interesting to see how this um, rating change um, uh, will affect the banks. And this is a big area of resistance here in the chart. So watch that closely. You might want to be taking a look um, in that oil sector um, um, here as well. Oil has been running to the upside really strong and we've been seeing uh, the, the impacts of that in the economy. Everyone is probably experiencing higher prices at the pump. Some big increases in those gas prices have come into play as a result. That also has an impact on our inflation. We'll want to be watching this closely. We're running into some price resistance here in the chart, but because we have such a um, supply problem here right now with um, OPEC cuts, we could still see those fuel prices rise to the upside. So watch that closely. If we pop through that resistance and hold, maintaining this upside trend, then there may be some more upside coming here in some of those oil stocks. And we're getting, um, you know, like um, APA reporting today, and that's pushing to the upside. So we're going to get maybe some earnings inspiration in there as well. Uh, keep an eye on uh, DKNG. DKNG continues to consolidate here sideways, and we're moving out to this trend. Just exactly the kind of pattern I want to see. Just rest for a period of time after that big rally 
and then move into trend and see if we can move on through to the upside. Really like that chart worth paying attention to. I saw some nice moves in steel yesterday. CLF still uh, pushing back up here in this chart. As you guys know, I've been paying attention to this one. This one may be coming into a setup. I would watch that closely here. Looking pretty good. And I got to tell you, boy, when we start looking at some of the retail, particularly retail around um, building, home building, it has been really, really strong. Lowe's and Home Depot moving to the upside. I think this rest or pullback in here could set up that next opportunity in Home Depot. So keep an eye on that. You can even look at other suppliers out there like Masco. Masco, very, very strong been running in this upside trend might be a little bit on the steep side and getting just a little bit parabolic in that move but if it does rest pull back or consolidate that would set up that next opportunity to the upside so keep a, cl a close eye on that we're seeing some pretty good moves in um, some of these uh, private um, um, haulers here like uh, Lyft nice little move to the upside it is resting back a little bit the trend is out here i would watch for that next opportunity for that to push to the upside um, uber um, getting a sharp pullback here kind of testing this trend to the upside to see if we're going to hold but if it does hold in here if we can regain some of this support in this area uber might have some upside opportunities still left um, let's take a look at um, um, some of our shippers out there FedEx looking good and I really like the way this is resting back you could actually take this trend and tighten it up and just treat this little area right here as a bit of an outlier and you could see right in here as we rest and consolidate back that may be give us that next opportunity for the upside move so watch that closely um, in that chart uh, UPS despite the fact that there may be a big strike on the way here in UPS. Keep an eye on this, kind of holding in here on this support. We've rallied up nicely, but watch for that potential upside move coming into play. You know, we broke this downtrend once, broke it and started moving to the upside and then earnings came in and just hammered this down. This is gonna report on 8.8. So breaking through this resistance here in the chart may not be the full story here yet. Let's wait for those earnings before we get too excited about jumping in on some of those trades. But I do think it's worth watching. Other retail out there, my goodness, um, retail has been running hard. But Costco finally getting a bit of a pullback here in that chart. Now, if I use this area right here as a bit of an outlier and run a trend up here, you can see that that's not hurting this chart overall. So if we can find some price support in here, we may still have more upside here in uh, Costco. Keep an eye on that, on that little resting pullback. So a lot, uh, lot of good charts out there. You may also want to be looking for a little bit on the short side of things um, in the market, just in case this uh, Fitch downgrade really brings in those bears for a period of time and pushes the market down. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your training. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for all the kind words of support as we're going through this challenging time in the family. Um, I do really, really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. Um, take care, be safe, and we'll see you right back here bright and early Thursday morning. I wish each and every one of you all the best.